Call to action sections. We all need them, and I find the cleaner and clearer they can be, concise, uh, the better they will convert. So, first off, all the interior pages start off with this one, which is actually our call to action number four, the, the little stripe that changes color on hovers has become a super flyer. Um, that one is down here below too, it's the fourth one, so I'll cover that one in a bit. Um, but the first couple are pretty pretty much the same, except for an image background and this one's style. Um, there's some styling to move these buttons down so that they kind of stay in line here. And, uh, and then we have, we have this basic one here and then our higher super flyer. So let's go through these really quick. So here we have CTA 1 and 2, which is this guy and this guy here. And we're setting padding bottom to 0 there. And then the button, we're giving it, giving the button some margin top there of 20. Now, depending on how much text you have over here and stuff like that, you're going to have to change that or override that, or you might be fine with it. Um, but without it, let me uh, actually show this page and then take that away. I can show you what it looks like without it. All right, let me find it real quick. Yeah, there it is up there. Margin top 20. Where are you? There you are. Without it, they move up there. And I just don't, I don't like them up there. It looks off-centered. It doesn't look quite right. So I'm just adding that down there just to give it some spacing there. So that's what we're doing there in the get-go beginning. And then we're making some adjustments on tablet there, centering our text instead of left aligning, um, like so. There you go. You saw it go down a little bit on on that size. So I'm making some adjustment there. So that let's take a look at that there. So at 1244, I'm moving it down 50. So you could copy this line out or type your own and do the do the same thing. But there, it's kind of recentering there. That works with my two lines of text going down to three there. And then on tablet, I am just centering the text and making it nice and simple, which will look really nice for the background image there. I think that's using our dark overlay. So you can see that it's working to kind of see the image through that dark overlay. Let's see what else we got on our call to action sections here. Uh, let me see here. Looks like I took out something there. Okay, our call to action for this guy is a full width bar, that's a link, and it changes color on hover, and this little icon goes out to the side there. So you can change the text, obviously, in the, in the visual builder, but let's, let's look what's going on back here. So CTA 4. On hover, this is where you can set the background color. I had it set there. Um, let me see, padding bottom. Actually, yeah, here I have it set here, so I actually don't need this guy. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. But here I'm telling the link, which is my higher a super, or become a super flyer, telling my link background color to be transparent, display block, width and height 100. I'm getting some padding. And then here's the hover color, which is this green, aqua green color. And so that's where you would change that hover color there. And then the icon here, I'm giving it a uh, one pixel from the top, which still looks pretty good in this font. Depending on the font, you might need to change that. So for example, let me click on this. There's my icon, one pixel from the top. There's zero, and you can see at zero, just too high. So one, two, two seems too low, one seems about right. And then I have it sitting uh, left zero, but then on hover, it's going to scooch over um, eight pixels from the left, pushing it to the right. So if I wanted to change this color, that green color, again, I would just uh, copy this line, override it in your theme options CSS, or just type it in, um, or give yours a unique class and override it. All right, that's the call to action sections.